imperative that we protect the most vulnerable people. That's why we are today committing to put in place a joint programme. Authorities say a suspect is in custody and identified him as a 26-year-old Moroccan man. Officials say he was armed with an automatic rifle and a knife. He was subdued by passengers. According to French media, the man was known to intelligence services. France's special anti-terror police will lead that investigation. This evening, immediately after being informed of some serious incidents that took place on a train from Amsterdam to Paris, this afternoon at 5.45 to be exact, I have come here to Arras station to visit the people who were hurt by the barbaric violence and for the passengers that were here and that were hospitalized in Arras. Et qui était hospitalisé à Arras avec le président de la République, le Premier ministre. Together with the President of the Republic and the Prime Minister, we praised the Americans who were particularly courageous and showed extreme bravery in the extremely difficult circumstances. All our gratitude and recognition and admiration to their calmness, without which it would have been a terrible disaster. Un drame terrible. The uh, suspect has been apprehended, has been arrested. Dude, I tried to shoot him. <laughs> he did. Oh. Yeah, dude, I'm still missing the handgun. The handgun is missing. Oh. Can we just look under the chairs and shit? Breaking news just into CNN, a terrorist attack in France. That is what a source calls a brazen shooting aboard a high-speed train headed to Paris. Let's get right to CNN Justice correspondent Pamela Brown. Pamela, what do you know? Well, we've learned, John, according to counterterrorism sources in Europe, uh, that the attack on a train going from Amsterdam to Paris today is believed to be a terrorist attack, an Islamist terrorist attack. The gunman, who is a Moroccan uh, national, had been on the radar of counterterrorism officials in Europe, specifically French intelligence. And a second security source in Europe says that it appears the gunman was sympathetic to ISIS, but a full determination on his specific loyalties had yet to be reached. Now, a, a high-ranking French official spoke today.